destination, you guys. Drive straight ahead. I'll tell you about it in a second. who it is here in a second we drove all the way out here me and the wreck <laughs> look at what it says up there man boom oh yeah me and the wreck out here we took a ride all the way out to wheaton illinois just to get this and uh here we are park on the side right there wow look at that monument man also uh one of uh, Richard Speck's murder victims was here Ten too. One of the nurses he killed. So yeah, we so. me and Social Wreck, you gotta check out the wreck. We're out here doing it. And uh, we're gonna get ready and we're gonna show you what this is. It says, uh, Wheaton Cemetery provides the final resting place for many individuals with ties to Wheaton. That's the, his dad, his dad yeah. was the founding, one of the founding fathers of this place. All right, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys who this is. Everybody from Gary, Indiana. We're at Albert H. Gary's final resting place. He was buried in Wheaton, Illinois because his family had a lot of ties here. His dad was one of the founding fathers. His uncle's name was Jesse Wheaton, Warren Wheaton. Artistic sculpture monuments create a beautiful memorial park well-known enduring, enduring tribute to those who buried here. The stately gray structure in the Gary Mausoleum, constructed by Albert H. Gary in 1912 of granite from Bar, Vermont. Wow, this granite is from Vermont. The earliest section of the monuments can be found on the front portion of the grounds uh, around the rise. Check it out, guys. He practiced law in Chicago for about 25 years. He was president of the Chicago Bar Association from 1893 to 1894. He served two terms as DuPage County Judge from 1882 to 1890. For the rest of his life, he was known as Judge Gary because that was common back then the men to be addressed by their political or their academic titles. And uh, even when they were no longer in office, uh, he uh, it was while he was being hearing a case as a judge that he first became interested in the process of making steel and the economics of the business. Pretty cool. 1898, he became president of Federal Steel Corporation in Chicago, which included the barbed wire business. He retired his uh, practice and uh. And he was like, in 1901, he became, he, he had these uh, steel companies go, come together and they made U.S. Steel. He was elected chairman of the board of directors and the finance committee. He moved from Wheaton to New York where he established headquarters for U.S. Steel. Let's check it out, guys. All of this goes around. Look at this. Table showing the education of time in minutes. Wow. <laughs> 
Oh, wow. You see how it goes downstairs? Look, you guys. You see inside there? This dude had bigger monuments and everybody. I'm actually. telling you, look at this, man. <laughs> look at this, you guys. This is incredible. You know, we do a lot of old cemeteries. Yeah, this is probably the coolest one, man. Besides Not only because he's GI, but he's still, there, right? man. Mr. Gary. We came here all the way from Gary, from your town, to see you. I brought you a rock. This is from Gary, Indiana, right here. Put this right here for you. I brought a piece of home to you. Uh, I'll tell you guys a little bit more about him in a minute. But, uh, also, uh, there's a, uh, a town in West Virginia named after him, Gary, West Virginia, I found out. Uh, not only they named Gary Nana after him, but Gary West Virginia is named after him also. So he was born in he was born on October 8th, 1846. He died on August 15th, 1927. He was an American lawyer, county judge, and a corporate officer. He was a key founder of US Steel in 1901 bringing together the partners J.P. Morgan, Andrew Carnegie, and Charles M. Schwab. The city of Gary, Indiana, the steel town named for him, was founded in 1906, our old hometown. And then Gary, West Virginia was also named after him. Well, he was, uh, he had a trust with uh, President Roosevelt, which was unlike any other trust, they said, that how he did business, whatever. But yeah, uh, but here he is, uh, Albert Gary. This is it, you guys. He's the one that started our city. Uh, he's buried out here because his dad, his family helped found Wheaton, Illinois. So it makes sense that he's here and not in Gary. He had this all built before he died, you know. But yeah, let's walk around. We're going to check, check it out. out the back, it is tight. This is him, man. This is the man. Come all the way here from Gary and Anna. See. Check it out. Look, these are air tanks right here. See, he's got a basement. This is nice. It's going to be back here, bro. Yeah. <coughs> I'm just going to try to. There's like air vents everywhere, man. Even on these window things. Wow, it's got like a yeah, like a basement, huh? I bet you the tombs are down there. It's down you know? there. Yeah. Wow, I wish there was a caretaker here. Man, I would love to see inside here. Look at the ram heads on there. Yeah, I know. That's sick.
love this. This is a plot. It's all dedicated to them. Brothers, parents buried here. I imagine they're all inside there. But uh, we're gonna check it out. I'm gonna look it up to see. Uh, I think uh, they're all inside there, huh? His whole family? Yeah, I imagine so. His man. mom, his dad, his uh, brothers. He had two siblings that passed away when they were little. One was like two years old, and one was like a newborn. He had a son that passed away too. And it says they're all buried here. The only one that's not here is one of his ex-wives. She's in the Bronx. Yeah, that's Ross's trip right here, huh? Yeah, that's pretty cool, ain't it? Yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah, let me, uh, let's go over here real quick and uh, do a little research. Let me see. Guys, go back what two years ago? We did the video of the, uh, the, the place where it happened. But, uh, there's Nina right there. Rest in peace. The two we want to see over here. Yep. All right. Nina Rock. That's tight. He's doing social rec. See, look at the sky, bro. It's opening up. Yeah. Makes a great picture. So right now I'm walking, uh, I'm trying to find uh, Albert Gary's parents. They should be around here somewhere. Old cemetery, guys. Really nice. It's really nice. I'm trying to follow this GPS to show me where they're at. Sometimes it gets a little crazy. Wow, these are old. Look at this. This is right by him. Right by him. So I'm right here by him. Look at that. That's it. I don't think so. Gary. This one right here. Look though. Found it guys. This is a big monument right here actually. This is uh, the Gary family. These are the parents of, of his parents, his grandparents. Here's his dad, Eurastus. Eurastus Gary. And then here's his mom right here. Yep. Dad died in eight, 1874 at 54 years old. His mom died. Oh, here's some babies too. 14 months, 19 months, and nine days. Ten years old. And so yeah, it looks like somebody came out here and uh, kind of refixed it. So this is Gary's parents. So here's William Gary. This is Karen Gary. Here's Yurasa 
Yeah, this is his dad's right here. Hey, here's his parents, his grandparents. Hey. Yeah, all right here. His dad, his mom, siblings, Uncle Wheaton right there. Look, this is Uncle Wheaton. But yeah, look at these clocks right here. Revolutionary War soldier, William Gary. Daughter of Samuel Perrin, Lucy Gary. Grandparents too. But here, look at this. This is another one. Social wreck. We got flesh bringing you guys exclusive. Look, Air Ella Gary. These are the little ones that died, I believe. Yeah. If you read on the other side there, it looks like they redid it too. Like, you read it. Yeah. Those little babies. You read the, the ages they died. Not on this other side right over here. here. This is family. They're all family his too. There's all the leaves right here, you guys. Leaves, Lucy, William. Very cool, man. A lot of Stroms. I see Stroms every every goes to this Yeah, there it is, man. Look at Gary on it. See that? Tight. Wheaton's. See, there's Wheaton behind them too. Look. Another Gary. Yeah. Oh, I see it. Wheaton's Jesse Wheaton. This is Uncle right here that founded Wheaton. This is the founder right here of Wheaton the town. But they're all right here. Wheaton's. Bonnie and Bill together forever. I wonder if they were any related. Oh, sure. Gene Gary, William Gary, yeah. Look at another Gary. D.W. Gary. It's John Gary, Julia Gary, Ralph Gary. Hey, look at that G on there, bro. Hey. I see that. <laughs> From the G, y'all. Let's see what else we got. More Gary. More Gary? They're everywhere. Reverend Charles Gary. Seven years old. Gary here. There's another Gary, there's another Gary. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. There's a lot of them, huh? Look at this. Judge. Perrin Gary. We got Neil Gary, we got Marjorie Gary, Harriet Gary, Alfred Gary, Jesse Child Gary, Aiden Gary, died in 93, 64 Charlotte, 